Now at six, breaking news. Former General Hospital actor Johnny Wachter shot and killed by catalytic converter thieves in downtown L.A. Good evening, everyone. I'm Leslie Meddy. And I'm Gio Insignares. Wachter was shot after police say he tried to stop the thieves on Hope Street and Pico Boulevard. KCAL News reporter Nicole Comstock is live with the very latest. Nicole. Well, the LAPD is not yet confirming his identity, but the actor's longtime agent, David Shaw, is saying not only was Wachter completely committed to his craft, but he set a real moral example to everyone he knew. So that's why he'll be leaving a hole behind in so many people's hearts forever. When we were together, Sasha, I wasn't thinking about anything other than just you and me. The brother of beloved soap opera star Johnny Wachter tells us the 37 year old was shot to death in downtown LA early Saturday morning, killed while trying to stop a catalytic converter theft in progress. He, uh, I guess, was seeing them do it in the act and was standing up for what he believed was right and, you know, protecting his vehicle and his car. And he was being brave. And it, you know, you never anticipate someone would kill someone for that. Tessa Farrell says Wachter was her friend and former fiance, that he moved to L.A. from South Carolina to follow his dreams and accomplish them as a main character named Brando Corbin on General Hospital, where he filmed 164 episodes between 2020 and 2022. The LAPD says investigators are still searching for three male suspects in connection with the fatal shooting. And right now they're not releasing a description of them or how they got away. But Tessa says Wachter's co-workers at a downtown L.A. bar were witnesses to the attack. She says she hopes this killing shines a light on violent crime occurring in L.A. So I will actually always think of him as this spirit that loved to celebrate life and be alive and push the limits of experience and be. He was an amazing actor. He was really funny. Shaw says Wachter was survived by his mother and two brothers. If you have any information about the shooting, you can contact the LAPD and report it anonymously. I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. Devastating for his family. Thank you, Nicole.